Yes, 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 yes. I got water, water, okay, water. to the first episode of the Wolf of Charles Street. As you can tell, it's inspired by the Wolf of Wall Street. Shout out to my man, Jordan Belford, you feel me? Like, yeah, he lit, you feel me? I feel like I'm kind of like the Jordan Belford of the trenches. <laughs> I'm gonna talk to, I'm gonna talk to the trenches and I'm gonna talk to the corporate people, you feel me? I'm gonna bring that together. I'm gonna put some information into this hood, into these cultures that need to be given, man. People just be lost, man. People really be lost. So, yeah, man, the Wolf of Charles Street. Charles Street is the main, the main, one of the main streets in Baltimore. It separates Baltimore from East and West. It's the Wolf of Charles Street, man. We based in Baltimore. We're in the trenches, in the ducky, in the honeycomb hideout. You feel me? Got a lot of big stuff coming up, a lot of upcoming events. Man, we got, I'm gonna take y'all on the road with me. We're gonna move around. We're gonna talk to people and some guests. Yeah, man. We're gonna make it happen. Got the merch. I mean, got my NFT line, so you feel me? We gonna be, yeah, man. I'm gonna put y'all D with some things that you know that probably five years from now y'all probably gonna be up on, or at least the younger generation, five, ten years from now, put y'all up on that stuff now. You feel me? But yeah, this is just to educate all the Dan's out there. You feel me? Dan's is the dumbass niggas. You feel me? So don't be a Dan. You feel me? <laughs> we gonna get this together. We gonna get this moving. No shout out to Spitfire, the unofficial sponsor for this episode. Spitfire, let me see, let me see. Hey, shout out Spitfire, man. man. Yeah, man, holla at me, man. A lot of shades, man. Yeah, man. R.P. Kobe, you feel me? Yeah, man. We need a basketball team in Baltimore, man. Let's start a petition on it for that, man. We need a basketball team, man. I want to go to some games here. You feel me? But yeah, all right, Peter Kobe. But yeah, so it's the first episode. We're going to just start off. We're going to talk about the state of the culture, man. Let's talk about the state of the culture. The state of the culture right now is very, very, very violent. Very violent. You feel me? And coming up in this type of environment, you know, I know the excitement that come with it. Like, it is excitement, a lot of thrills, this, that, and the third. But it's not a video game, you feel me? You can't respawn, you don't have three, four lives. So it's like, you gotta make it make sense, man. Let's try to make this make sense. It's very, very violent, like. <laughs> I remember when the uh, the drill scene first came out in Chicago. Like, I, I I was just coming back home. This was like probably the end of 2011, 2000, 2012, man, man. So I'm listening to it. And I'm, I mean, I'm in the mix. I'm in the life. So you feel me? Like, I'm entertained by it. But then it's like just watching how everybody else take to it and get molded by it. all right by gang this gang that and like I mean it changed a lot but gotta make it make sense you feel me you only got a couple a handful of people that's making money off as far as from the culture that's making money off of it you know you got your dirts your uh you know, your Chief Keith, you got New York popping with the drill real heavy now, so. You got only like a handful of people making money, but you got, y'all got to understand, man. 
It's entertainment. You feel me? Like, all right, get with your get with these guys behind the scene. You feel me? Y'all y'all come up with an agreement or something like that. And said, listen, man, yeah, we going we gonna beef on wax, do this, that, and the third, and break down the bag, but all that killing gotta stop, man. It gotta stop. Cause it's trickling down to these kids that don't know the difference between entertainment and reality. And they they out here doing they just throwing away their lives and sh you know what I mean? So it's like Come on, all it takes is a conversation, man. And it's like, who's around these guys? You feel me? Like, <laughs> who's around these guys? And I'm talking about these, these old, these OGs, these old heads. You feel me? Even the, the the people that's in the industry, man. Like everybody just monetizing off of it. But the lives, I mean, you ain't getting the lives back. So I mean, just make it make sense, man. That's the easiest thing you gotta do is just. Beef on wax. Y'all ain't got to like each other, but just do business. That's the corporate world, man. You guys in the corporate world, they don't necessarily be liking each other. They be hitting each other wives, all type of shit. But you find me, they get that bag together. You find me? So it's like, y'all got wives enough. The baby. Can we talk about the baby? <laughs> Can we talk about the baby for a second? Talk about the culture. Talk about this guy. You feel me? Yo, they they dropped the uh, the Walmart video of the baby. The baby man, that's some short. I mean, that's that's typical short short nigga man. Like, yeah, short nigga with he gonna take off on you. You feel me? And I know that <laughs> I mean, the baby be taking off. You feel me? But well, how y'all feel about that though, you feel me? Is it always like a self-defense? Cause I mean he he being a lot of stuff, you him going through it with the fans, locked up at the hotels, this, that, and the third. It's like he being a lot of stuff, man. Then they try to cancel him. And I mean he I mean he ain't got a bottle of that, you feel me? Like I root for the baby. Like I, I mean, I grew up around guys like the baby. Like I know that that, that little short bag complex. You feel me? But hopefully, you feel me. He get it. He get it together where he could just you know focus on his career and not had to you know risk it, risk his life. Like that's my whole thing. Like man, I didn't play the streets, did all that stuff, just risking my life, man. Like for what? For what you feel me? So it's like let's 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 make it make sense. Like let's make it make sense. It's all this money in the culture, but it ain't making sense because it ain't trickling down to the culture. So I mean, let's focus on something like that. Let's talk about that. You feel me? Drop it down in the comments, man. Let's talk about yeah, man. Really. Disseminating his money to the moms, the aunts, the the nephews, the grandkids. Yeah. The ones that's yeah, man. That giving giving y'all that clout, that fan base, like trickle some of that money back down, you feel me? That's all I be talking about. Anyway. Next. Talking about money. Let's for just this this episode, let's just kind of focus on crypto. Let's talk about crypto for a second. A lot of people scared of crypto. They don't want to hear it. They don't want to talk about it. But crypto ain't nothing but another form of currency. Another form of money. That's all it is. So at the end of the day, just like the dollar ain't nothing... Unless we backing it, unless it's a whole group of people backing this dollar, saying that this dollar is worth something. All around the world, people, you know, using the dollar. You gotta just think, man, it's about community. <laughs> I was on Facebook, man. I didn't, I since deleted my Facebook, you feel me? It's just, I just don't like, it's just too much access, you feel me, but. I had joined this Facebook group, yeah, man, about NFTs, and so 
I had joined the group and then somebody suggested like, why don't we just start our own cryptocurrency? Why don't we start our own coin? You feel me? We got enough people in the group. Let's just put it together. So everybody was all gung ho, like, yeah, let's do it. So we came up with the name for the coin. We got the design, the logo, and you got the one guy, you feel me, that's putting everything together, moving everything, bing, 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 bing. You feel me? <laughs> so he putting everything together, yeah, man. Then you know it's time for you to buy the coin. It's time for people to, you know, put the money into the coin. So me, you know, I, I'm, I, you know what I mean? I, I, I just fall back and I just wait, you feel me? I want to see what, what it's about first before I put any money up. But they put, everybody putting their money into it. Bing, bing, bang, bop, bop. You feel me? Waiting for the coin to drop. The next thing you know, Dude gone, skated, you feel me? Like <laughs> they ran off with ran off on the plug, you feel me? Ran off with with the, the money. So it was just a, a lesson to me about how this crypto game worked. It's all about community. It's all about how many people is backing this coin, this 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 currency. So Say, if everybody from Baltimore said, you know what? We gonna, let's start our own cryptocurrency just for Baltimore, you feel me? The only way it's gonna become something and thrive is everybody put their money into it. That's the only way. Ladies, it's that time of year. You know what time it is. Getting warm out. You want a natural way to get that fatty? Hey, tap in. A pet of man. Two for $30. They're going fast. Tap in. Yeah, when you're in the trenches, you hear certain stuff, you feel me? You got, you know what I mean? You got to move and pivot real quick, you know what I mean? Check this, check that, you feel me? Because one second could be ass. It's about community. So if you got enough people that believe in this coin, then everybody can have money, you feel me? Everybody can buy what they need to buy, you feel me? Listen, man, it's, it's, a, it's a simple premise. It's not really that hard, but people don't know money. People don't understand money. They believe in the, the physical thing, you feel me, when it's really just an idea. Like, <laughs> that's all it is. Somebody get me a denarii right now. Give me a denarii. Can I get a denarii? You feel me? All you Bible readers, y'all know what a denarii is, you feel me? Where is it? It's no longer in existence. That's just every every money. Every money going to have its run. And it's going to phase out. So, you may read them between the lines. Y'all, <laughs> read them between the lines, man. Yeah, man. But anyway, that's my little spill on crypto. But, I mean, get with it, man. Just get with it, man. But... Really do your research, you feel me? It got to be something that's going to be long lasting. Got a lot of, yeah, man. Got a lot of backing. Yeah, man. That's why, you know, you got Bitcoin, which is so big. You feel me? It's on your cash app. Like, Bitcoin is basically being integrated everywhere, you feel me? So, the backing is crazy. So, <laughs> y'all just got to read in between the lines. Don't be late, man. You be late to the party. You gonna miss the food, the drinks, the baddies. You gonna be, you gonna miss it being late to the party, man. So I'm just trying to, you know, have y'all early. You feel me? But yeah, man. So yeah, man. This is kind of like the premise of the show, man. I might be on some, you know, unusual suspects type of. Just look around and just yeah, man. Start yeah, man. <laughs> talking about something, but you feel me? We got a lot coming up. Yeah, man, we're going to have cash chat prizes. We're going to have, 
you know, tickets for meals, shows, you feel me? Like, it's, it's, it's a lot we're going to have coming up, you feel me? So just, you know, stay tuned. Make sure you subscribe, man. Subscribe, share. It's just the beginning. Yeah, you know I mean, I just had to just get this started though. Just get get the get the uh, first episode going because I actually had started a podcast with my man who passed away. We we started like three years ago. You feel me? We kind of had a fall and out and went our separate ways. You feel me? Before he passed, but we had started a, a, a podcast called Breakfast Blunt. This was like three something, you know, three years ago. So all I'm doing is picking back up. You feel me? So. And yeah, man, this first episode being his memory, man. Dope boy, man. Antmo, you feel me? So, we're going to get to it, man. We're going to make it happen. So, man, stay tuned, man. Stay locked in. You know, I'm going to talk about stuff I like, stuff I don't like. Like, I don't like when like big people like you feel me with like dirty people just sit on the toilet and leave that little dirt that dirt that dirt mark on the toilet seat that little dirt ring i hate that because i know they see that like i don't like that and then the toilet paper be be going clockwise no the toilet paper supposed to go counterclockwise 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 you, you dig <laughs> you feel me but anyway, man, it's only going to be up from here. And, man, I would need time in myself to see how long. But, yeah, man, just stay tuned, man. I'm dropping episode two ASAP, you feel me? Just stay tuned, man. Don't need me to know. Tonight